Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are not making any coffee, but if you notice my previous video, while I was doing the video, the clean light came on and it's still blinking. So today's video is about how to clean your Breville Barista Express. Now, before that, I want to point the difference between clean and descale because it's the same light for clean and descale. If you look closely, you'll find it. Now, in the clean cycle, what happens is you clean the upper component of the Breville Barista Express, like mainly your group head and the plumbing uh, that goes through and there is a little spout that goes under the tray here. Let me show you a closer view. Now, if you remove the tray and look closely here, so if you look at your right corner there, that's a spout for uh, the excess water uh, that comes out uh, especially when you switch on your steam wand, uh, the excess water and the steam, it comes out through that spout. Now, another thing to note that Breville has this feature where you get a dry puck after making the espresso. So what happens is if you leave the, after making the espresso, if you leave the potter filter in here, the machine will suck the water uh, from your puck and then it drains through the, the hole that I showed you under the cover here. So when you do the clean cycle, it cleans the group head and the upper portion, the plumbing portion, which is uh, just on top of the group head all the way down to that spout that I showed you. So it cleans the whole area here. Now in the descale process, as you know, the water can build in a lot of mineral buildups in your internal components, mainly on your boiler. That's the main thing. So what you do is you put the descaling powder in the water tank and all the way from the water tank up to the group head and the steam wand and the water dispenser, everything will be cleaned, including the internal plumbing. Everything will be clean through the descale cycle. So today's video is about clean, how to clean Breville Barista Express. It's very simple. It's seven steps. Let me show you one by one. Now, the first step is to find the cleaning disc. It should be inside the cleaning kit. The Breville cleaning kit they provided. Now, this is the cleaning disc you need to put it in one of the filter cups. So I'm going to use the single cup. It doesn't really matter, but since this is small, it supports well on the single cup. Doesn't matter whether it's dual or single wall filter, doesn't matter. Now, if you notice, this disc doesn't have any holes. So you won't see any water dripping through the filter. So it doesn't matter whether it's single or double. Anyway, so insert it into the filter cup. Now the second step is to place the filter basket into the potter filter. So you take your potter filter and insert. Now the third step is to put the cleaning tablet into the filter. Now you'll find the cleaning tablet in your cleaning kit again. If it's new, this is the, the one I'm going to use is the Breville's tablet. Uh, you can buy this online from the Breville site. It comes in a big packet or you could use any third party tablets from Amazon. Both works well. I'll leave the link in the description below. Anyway, I'm going to use the Breville's tablet. And put it right in the, in the cut here. It sits in nicely there. That's it. Now the next step is to lock the potter filter into the group head.
make sure this is tight enough and locked. Now the fifth step is to turn off the machine. My machine is on, so I'm going to turn off. Now the sixth step is to enter the machine in the clean mode. Now to enter into the clean mode, you need to simultaneously press and hold the single cup, double cup and the power button together for three seconds. Now, before entering into the clean mode, I'm going to remove the tray so that you can see So I'm going to clean the water which is already there. Okay, now my tray is empty. So I'm going to put it back so that we can monitor the solution that comes out of that spout that I showed you under the cover here. So let's begin the cycle. Power button, single cup, double cup together for three seconds. One, two, three. Now you can release the button and you'll see the pressure gauge going up and down maybe three, four times. It will be on and off. You can leave the machine there. It will do its business. So now see there is some water coming out there. So now you heard that three beeps and now the cleaning cycle is finished and you see there's a lot of water collected here. So another reason why you need clean regularly is because after making coffee like I explained to get the dry puck Breville has that feature where the water sucks up from the puck coffee puck and it goes through the spout here and that makes the puck dry. Again, when you switch on the steam wand um, and when you switch off the steam, again, the water sucks a bit up. The same principle, it has that upward pressure and it flows through the spout here. That's one important reason why you need to purge after frothing the milk. Or else what happens is the, the milk can go up through the wand because of that inward pressure Breville has. Same principle to dry the puck. So very important, always purge your steam wand well as soon as you finish frothing the milk. Anyway, so you got the idea about the cleaning, just to clean the, the upper portion of the machine. Now, this tablet is not going to go to the boiler. No, that's the descale solution not this powder. This cleans only this area like I explained. Now let's open and see. Now let's have a closer look. Now if you notice the the tablet didn't dissolve fully so don't throw it away. Uh, if you look at the manual, they say run cycle number six and seven again. So let's put this back, lock it, and then repeat step number six and seven. That is, and let's enter into the clean cycle by pressing those three buttons together like I showed. Three seconds. and let it continue to clean again, uh, just to ensure that the whole tablet is fully melted 
and it works well rather than wasting your tablet. So nothing wrong in cleaning it two times. So I'll leave it on, let it clean. Okay, so I'm done with the clean cycle again. Now, if you notice, not even a drop of water came out of the potter filter spout. That's normal. I think the previous model has that feature where the water comes through the spout, but not in this model. This is BES 870XL. Now, let's see if the tablet is melted this time. It's almost there, but I still see some deposit. So you could run the cycle again if you want, but I'm not, seems like it's not going to dissolve anymore. Now, next step is to switch off the machine and then power it back on and the clean light should disappear. Okay. So I don't have that light anymore. So let's look at the water. Remember I had a clean tray. It looks a bit dirty. So let's have a look. I'll pour it in this. doesn't look bad mainly if you notice it's mainly the coffee grounds that were stuck in the group head hopefully like I explained earlier this machine has the feature to dry the coffee puck where it sucks the water from the puck upward that could take the coffee grinds as well and it will be stuck somewhere inside the group head somewhere so this clean cycle will clean everything now before I finish the video the last step I would do is to run the water through the group head and the two water dispensers again just to ensure that the clean water is coming out and there is no cleaning tablet deposits somewhere in the group head or inside the group head so let's run some water After that, I'll run the water through the steam wand. That should be good. And the water dispenser the other way. That should be good. It was steaming initially because the steam wand was super hot. That's why you saw the steam initially. Anyway, so you've cleaned all these and now your machine is ready and back to normal. I'm just curious, the water that we run through the group head and these two water dispenser, just to be sure whether it's dirty or not, let's have a look. Doesn't look bad, but still I can see some dirt. So it is important that you run the water through the group head and the steam wand and water dispenser at least once. So that will ensure everything is clean. Now, if you have any questions related to the clean cycle or descaling, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to answer those questions. Now, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate that and it helps me. So uh, stay tuned, I'll be posting more videos on Bravel Barista Express. See you on the next video. Bye for now.